Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I got a mystery box all the way from Singapore. We'll check it out. Guys, check this out. From the Singapore post office. So this is from Singapore. I don't want to show you the top because he probably doesn't want his identity shown. Uh, but it's from Tan Yi Feng James. And he sent this box all the way from Singapore. Oh my God. So it's a mystery box to me right now because I don't know what's in there. I'm going to take the box out sealed and share it with some coaches and see what we get. All right. All right, guys, so I'm on the court. Lucky enough to have my man, Coach Chris, here today with me. Uh, we got the mystery box from Singapore for my buddy, uh, Mr. James here. So I'm gonna open the box. We'll see what we got, guys. Check it out. Boom. Mm. Dunlop Pro Series, Pro Comp 95. That's definitely from the 80s. Donna Wide Section Technology. That looks like it's from the 80s. Oh, we got a 03 Red First Gen. That's a good one. Oh, look here. The Shark. Maria Sharkapovas. Remember? This was meant to be Maria's racket until she abandoned it and went to the 03 White. And then this thing got like thrown out like a like some dog food, man. <laughs> And then, and then we got, oh man, everybody's tour favorite, the 03 Tour. That's a good racket. That's a 16 by 18 string pattern. Look at how open that string pattern is. I rarely see it in that open string pattern. All right, Coach Chris. Let's, why don't you say, you try this one since I know, since you tour player, man, and all. And uh, I try the red first. And then we'll go buy each one of these rackets, okay? All right, let's go. Coach Chris, my guess out of these five is that that would be your favorite. Absolutely. Talk yeah. to me about that racket. So I actually uh, played with this growing up too as well. I thought this is the racket that um, in the clinics I would go to a lot. It's It feels just kind of like uh, the Dunlop CX200 too in terms of the the weight and swing pattern. And the, and the, except for now, this one's 16, 16 by 18. 
overall this was really good like it felt good while I was hitting with it um, and uh, just yeah very solid racket overall um, so maybe I would probably wait it up now thinking about it but it's good that I was able to kind of take a trip that maybe lane because it's probably one of the f first rackets I was hitting with too as well growing up so I agree this is this is the best of the bunch here in terms of like a player stick right this is a player stick um i'm not that good of a player anymore but it's a good stick never at was. least yeah yeah never was who cares but you know i actually like this stick you know hold this oh <laughs> anyways i actually like this one today just kind of counter punching with with this guy here uh, he was like hauling off on that and i was able to defend really well with this red so i i love this red racket i forgot how good this felt a uh, little bit slightly bigger head there's a 105 on a thicker beam as you can see um, now those two are definitely the winners what do you think of that red coach chris um again yeah both these prince rackets um uh are pretty stable like you can i still think you can like if you have a few you can still go out and play with these they're they're great um uh this one in particular was a little bit light on the lighter side uh, I just if I did still feel like I was getting a lot of power through this one, um, and, but it's, it's it is a little lighter on this one. This reminds me of kind of that um, what do you call it the yeah almost reminds you of kind of the pure drive a bit too as well in terms of kind of like the, the uh, power of it. So like a this, bigger pure drive. Like yeah, like one hundred seven. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, one hundred seven. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about the illegitimate child that you know was in Maria's hand for maybe a year. Okay. They put a whole marketing campaign around this shark. Um, it would be categorized as one of my worst rackets in history uh, because it, it just is not very good, okay? This particular one is an oversized racket. It's ultra light. They put the word turbo in here somewhere. I don't know why, because it went through the air so fast, but when it hit the ball, it was like no guts, okay? So, I mean, I, I just, it's all right for a beginner. That's all I got to say. But to put this in Maria's hands, that's kind of a disgrace to Maria. Okay. What'd you think of that? Yeah. Good thing, uh, you know, uh, good thing Maria didn't end up going with this racket. Um, it's like, it reminds me of a coaching racket. It's really an oversized head. Um, I guess I can see the appeal to like playing with it. You get that kind of power. Uh, just put the ball again. I just didn't feel... <laughs> Uh, comfortable hitting with it in the rally it just felt a little bit um, out of control um, too much power almost uh, and way yeah, too light and way, way too, too light. light too as well yeah that sucker is 9.3 ounces on an oversized head and it's not even weighted in the head yeah. enough yeah so that's tennis elbow waiting to happen right there yeah, yeah. so definitely a uh, good job Maria for not choosing this one to go to go to yeah. <laughs> so that goes in the garbage bin guys um, let's talk about something a little better here this Donne racket was surprisingly really good. Um, it kind of felt almost like a Profile 95. It was really stiff, uh, really good power. I mean, I was hauling off on this one, and so was Coach Chris. Um, what'd you think of that one? Yeah, so this is definitely, a, uh, this probably would come in third, actually. So this actually does feel like kind of a, uh, a player's racket. Um, overall, I didn't um, have too much problem with hitting it with this. Um, it's just just kind of outdated in terms of like the paint job and everything like that But overall like the beam and the stiffness of the racket is definitely kind of close to kind of what you see In modern day what you have on the shelf too as well yeah, But but they don't make rackets like this anymore. No. It's small 95 um, Stiff thick right things like this only come in oversized nowadays So this is rare and this is an anomaly now because mm -hmm. this hasn't been made in what 10 15 years they don't make rackets like this i enjoyed this this brought me back to my childhood man like those profiles that i used to use or uh, those secret fours kind of felt like this uh, let's talk about the worst racket out of the bunch here <laughs> this pro comp 95 by dunlop they call it the pro series ain't no pro about this series Oof. you know it, it's like it's like a wet rag, you know, like you're slapping around a wet rag, you know, it's like flip, flop, flip, flop. 
man, this thing was so freaking flexible. It yeah. was like worse than a wooden racket. Yeah. What do you think of that sucker? Oh man, it was super bendy. Like after hitting with it, like uh, the flex of the racket just threw off everything. So I I didn't feel like I can get any anything away with like unless I didn't hit it in the sweet spot. I felt like I didn't get get any like um, you couldn't get away with hitting it. You know. Uh, badly so this racket is eh, not really sure why this was made like this but uh, I wouldn't definitely I don't know why anyone would play with this it's really uh, too flexible yeah. no stiffness at all very very 80s esque flexible racket for not sure who who in pro would use it yeah. um, not sure why they call it pro uh, yeah. but I guess comp means cheap usually when I see that word it usually means big five or Montgomery Wards if you guys remember that stuff maybe Sears you know God. you buy this at the Sears you know but there's no power in this it's it's actually really heavy in the head and you can feel that but like I said it's it's very like flexy bendy um, it, it's it, not something you would enjoy playing with at least today maybe back in the 80s it might be a little different if you compare this to a wood yeah i can see i could see why somebody would use this but um, ain't no wood about this okay all right so it ain't stiff enough it needs to be stiffer it needs okay so worst of the bunch i would say best of the bunch i like that one too okay and that one's good too all right, I want to thank my man, Mr. James from Singapore. Thank you. Thank you for the mystery box. If anybody else wants to send over their collection for have to, to for us to try, um, please do so. Uh, it's on my about page. Thank you very much. I want to thank Coach Chris. All right, for hanging out with me today and playing with the mystery box. Where can we find you, Coach Chris? Find me at C V Chen C H I E N Tennis. I'll see you back at the shop. So back at the shop with these sticks from uh, my buddy James here. Um, definitely the winner was this 03 Prince in the 16 by 18 string pattern. This brings back a lot of memories to us. We, you know, this was one of the top rackets back in the day and uh, it felt really familiar. So this is, this is um, one of those rackets that we all kind of played with at one time or other. And we're talking about probably 10, 15 years ago, probably close to 15 years ago. 16 by 18 on this string pattern though. See how big those squares are? So if you got one of these lying around, that's a, that's a hidden gem right there. Break it out and play with it. All right, the shark. Remember Sharapova was promoting the shark? That didn't last very long. This is the oversized shark though. So this was the light, easy to play with shark. Um, this is more for kind of more power, lighter, um, you know, not quite our cup of tea, but definitely, uh, you know, it did well because Sharapova promoted it. The red, this is the original red before they started doing crazy stuff to it. So um, again, more of a recreational type of high-end racket but great racket overall. Now, some of these rackets, this Dunlop brings me back a while. Uh, this Pro Comp 95, I think this is from the, man, the nine, early 90s uh, to the late 80s. Um, good kind of an intermediate stick, 95 for more control. Uh, you know, I don't know much about this one, because I didn't sell it back in the day. But, um, you know, played well. 95 control, 100% graphite from what I can see. Don A, they call it wide section technology. What's this one even called? It just, it just says Don A wide section technology. So this kind of looks like a profile, like a, like a, you know, a version of a profile. I guess it's called a graphite classic, as you can see up there. Um, the grommets remind me of like a Prince, kind of a lightning or CTS approach. 
perhaps a thunder stick, but it looks more like an approach or a lightning to me. Um, and it kind of felt that way. It kind of felt like profile meets lightning. So lightning profile from, from Don A. But, you know, not, not bad. I mean, anything in the mid that's semi-stiff, I'll like. So, you know, good sticks. Shout out to Tang Yi Fang James for uh, sending me these. Um, greatly appreciate it. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.